Hi guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Last time I filmed a video, I think I was about 30 weeks pregnant, and my son is eight months old next week. So it's been a while. So with everything going on, just want to ask you before I get into the video, how is everyone? How is everyone doing with the whole coronavirus and all the rest of it? I know you're probably here because you're sick of hearing about it, but I want to make sure that all you guys are okay like especially where are you like I'm from the UK which country are you from what's it like over there you're in different parts of the UK I want to know what it's like and just make sure that you're okay so today's video is my birthing story my labor and birth story for my son obviously so let's get into it okay so first time mum and this is my story so I got very sick of being pregnant near the end and I was getting very very stressed very heavy very grouchy as you do and there's a shop near my house and I was walking back and forth to it just to get something happening get the ball rolling as it were and try and get this baby out of me so I was going back and forth about five times a day and a few days before, on Saturday, on right on Saturday the 12th of October, I went to the shop and as I came home from the shop, my neighbour was there and asked how I was and I was getting very grouchy because I was still pregnant. So from that, he laughed and his wife messaged me a few hours later saying how he, her husband said how grouchy I was and he was expecting me to go into labour within the next few days because that's what she was like when she was having her son. So I was going back and forth, I was really grouchy, but she messaged me saying, oh, well, do you want to go for a walk on Monday and we'll see if we can get this baby out of you. And I agreed and then on Sunday morning I got up and there's going to be a lot of TMI in this video, just saying. So Sunday morning I got up and I had a feeling that I was going to go into labour because I went to the toilet and my entire mucus plug had come out. There was an entire clump of mucus, which, lovely. And I got really excited by that. I was like, yes, baby. So I know that you can lose your mucus plug before, like a long time before, but I'd been losing parts of it all the way through, like my third trimester, and then as I got that massive clump, I was like, yes, we are getting a baby. And at 2 p.m. on Sunday, I was sat in my bed, I'd just washed my hair, and I thought, I just cannot be bothered to dry my hair. So I was laid on my bed watching videos on YouTube, and then I thought, oh no, I've, I just wet myself. And I had not. So about three seconds in, I realised that I hadn't. I was like, oh dear. So I had some of those training pads, you know, when you're teaching your child how to um, sleep to know that I went in the bed, things like that. We had some of those. I had them under... Um, my bed sheets because I didn't want to ruin my mattress and I had some scattered around the house as well so my water didn't break on the city and things like that so much so I was sitting on the floor for the last few weeks of my pregnancy because I did not want my water to break on the city because I don't want to ruin my city so yeah and when my waters broke I reached to get uh, one of the pads and just put it there and then sit on it and then I just kept laughing because it's the strangest feeling when your waters break so it it feels like you know when you turn a water bottle upside down it's like glug 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 sound that's what it feels like but inside you and it's the weirdest thing so yeah and then from that i didn't have any i wasn't having any contractions no tightness or anything like that but because my waters had gone i rang up my midwife and she said right so we're gonna bring you in we can't actually examine you because of risk, a risk of an infection so we are going to do aromatherapy and see what we can do so we did aromatherapy she massaged my hand and then she gave me this little bottle of like a mixture of things but I remember the lavender because it smells so 
so I came home and I massaged my feet with it because she told me to and then I left the bottle open and I completely forgot it was there so I just left it open in my bedroom I was sat downstairs with my brother and my sister because my brother had to come over to look after <coughs> to look after my sister's children so she could come with me and I just turned around to my brother like oh I'm going to bed now I'm not in labour I'm not having any pains I just I want to go to bed so I went to bed and about four o'clock in the morning I woke up with the most intense pains I was like yes I am definitely in labour thank goodness for that so I knew full well that I was in labour but because of my mindset my sister put like a theory into my head that whatever your birth was that's what your first birth is going to be because this theory worked for every single person I knew and when I was being born it was like three days in labour very overdue so in my mind I know it's stupid in my mind I was thinking oh well I'm not going to be in labour for that long there's there's no problem I'm perfectly fine I'll go to sleep so I went back to sleep I woke up at five o'clock in the morning I was rolling all over my bed like this hurts and then at about seven o'clock in the morning my sister had already got all got her children up and she was saying right are you definitely in labor I was like I'm definitely in labor I rang up my midwife and she said okay so come in now so my sister took her youngest to my brother's house and her eldest to breakfast club and then we went but I didn't get there until nine o'clock I don't live that far away from it but I didn't get there until nine o'clock and then the midwife's question like well you rang me at seven o'clock what why did it take you two hours to get here like well it didn't take me two hours to get here. we had to get everything else sorted and then she just laughed and went well oh, okay so actual birth itself when I was getting checked before I gave birth my examination that bloody hurts labour birth do it over all again <laughs> but the examination is absolutely horrible I've had examinations whilst pregnant and um, not in labour and at that point it does hurt it speculums all the rest of it it does hurt you kind of move out of the way because just ow when you're in labour it's just maximum is that like right at the top pain threshold because you contract at the same time it feels like this woman's entire arm is up you it's not you can see that it's not but it feels like it is and it's just not pleasant so I had that and I screamed I'm not even ashamed to say that I screamed because it hurt like hell so I had that and then she took me into a birthing room and said right well let's examine you here instead and gave me gas and air and everything and then she said right I can't even feel your cervix because of the way you are positioned and we discussed it afterwards and it's because I have a tilted uterus which also made my 12 week scan really difficult to see him so yeah but from that she kind of gave up and said right just just get in the pool and we'll see what's going on we'll just get this baby out of you so this was at nine o'clock and then at five past twelve he was born and it it scream tunnel vision not even gonna lie so it felt like it was just me and him and it felt like I was there forever holding him and then once everyone else was talking to me all I could think was you're definitely a boy aren't you like, you're definitely a boy <laughs> yes he he's definitely a boy so the funny thing is when he was born I I needed stitches afterwards because of the way he was born. I got um, a second degree tear because of it. The way he was born, um, he was born with his hand up against his face. He kind of like pushed his arm out to get up past his face, kind of like a superhero. So when he came out, it was his head and his arm because his head was going up, 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 and then his arms went push. And I remember everyone's face because my sister went to grab her phone to take a picture of it because she thought it was absolutely amazing. And then everyone else was like, wow, that's, that's so great. And all I'm thinking was, get this baby out of me. So I'm just like, right, pushing this baby out of me. And then both arms came up. And then my sister's just there, like, oh, you could see the disappointment in everyone's faces. I'm like, mate, don't care. I know it happened. <laughs> just get this baby out of me. So after 
he was born, everything was well with him, he was perfectly fine. I was losing quite a bit of blood and then when I went to the bed she was checking me over with my placenta and I just kept losing blood, losing blood, so much so that they had to put a tampon in me because I was losing that much blood. I had my ergometrin injection to get the placenta out which is the injection that they give you to contract your cervix again and then that that was out I just kept bleeding and then they once stitched me up I didn't want them anywhere near me because I had just given birth I was very swollen you breathe near me and it would hurt so after that she said right so because of this I'm gonna need you to either go to the toilet or I'm gonna use a catheter on you I said I'm not having a catheter so I'll go to the toilet she brought me to the bathroom and then the last thing I remember was I turned around to her and I went Jenny I feel sick and she was like wow what's wrong and then bam I'm just gone and then the, at the time it was just me and Jenny in the room and then when I woke up the room was full there was me, Jenny, the midwife, <laughs> um, a senior midwife, my sister, two midwives stood next to my sister. I could see two MCAs in the room with my son and it was just chaos. I was just looking around like, what is going on? Midwife's like, no, 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 sit down, sit down. I'm sat there on the toilet with one of those bedpans on, with just all of my blood inside this thing. And then... And I'm like, no, 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 sit down, just, we'll just wait, wait until you're ready. And then she looked at me and went, right, I'm going to give you another dose of ergometrin because you just keep clotting. So I got the ergometrin injection and then after that I got back into the bed, I got another ergometrin injection and then an entire room full of midwives, so much so that they couldn't leave me. I just kept losing blood and losing blood, so much so I was stuck to my bed. And then, <laughs> yeah, I know, TMI. And then after that, I was calming down with that sort of stuff going on. And then after the blood, it's about four hours later, something like that, four hours after he was born, I had a senior midwife come in and say, right, so we want to stitch you now. Are we okay to stitch you? And then I got injected. And then they started sewing, they're like, oh no, no, you won't feel anything, you'll just feel the tugging, you won't, you won't feel the needle going in. I did. And then it was like, okay, I, I can deal with that, I don't mind the pulling of of the stitch, that, that didn't bother me. But I found it funny that I keep saying stitches and I'm wearing a stitch top. But <laughs> of the stitches, the needle going in that hurt, when it was closer to the actual tear, oh my goodness that really bloody hurt so to sum up labor not that bad birth not that bad <laughs> the examination not very good <laughs> stitches not very good but i'll do that all over again because ow but in hindsight with everything and all the rest of it I would I do it all over again. I do it a hundred times over just to get my son. So in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter. But it's not just oh well I've had a baby, I've had my stitches, that's me done. I sneezed the day after. Oh my goodness. I had ten stitches, I sneezed, and it just it felt like I was being torn a new one in the nicest of ways. Just a pre warning though. My midwife, the one who saw me up, was wearing glasses. Do not look at them <laughs> if they wear glasses while she's being sewn up because you can see everything and it's not pleasant. Like I can watch birth programs, I can watch anything like that, I can watch people being sewn up, I can watch like any programs with people's arms ripped off with all the guts and all the rest of it. But seeing yourself after you've given birth and being sewn up, not a pleasant experience. So yeah, so with the fun of all that, my son is happy, healthy, I am happy, healthy, could have gone better, could have been a lot worse, so everything's fine. I would put him at the end of this video like, this is my son, but 
is asleep right now he's in his room so yeah so if you guys like this video then give it a big thumbs up it really help me out if you aren't ready you like to be hit that big red button down below subscribe and come with the it and remember our family if you like to follow my social media there's always links down below okay bye guys